difference between compression and tension members so there are two significant difference the first difference is in case of tensile loads or the tension member tensile loads tend to hold a member straight so even if a member is not a straight but when we apply the load on that member so it will straighten so it will become a straight member so this is the case of tension members but in case of compression member even if a member is straight but if we apply the load a compressive load so it will bend so it will bend it in a direction perpendicular to the load so either in this shape or like this so the applied load the applied compressive load will try to bend the member in a transverse direction perpendicular to the line of applied loads so this is the first difference between tension member and compression member okay the second is the presence of reverse or bolt hole in tension member reduces the area so in case of tension members when we find out the capacity of a tension member so we consider the net area at the connection so we subtract the area of the holes even the bolts are present in these holes but we subtract the area of this holes to calculate the net area and the capacity is considered based on the net area of the section but in case of compression members we consider that the bolts are reverse fill this hole and instead of net area we consider the grass area at the connection to calculate the capacity of the member so this is the second difference between compression member and tension members